Uh, I'm gonna switch to my boy. That's some, uh, J uh, Jordan, what you just said is some very, uh, Garth Marenghi energy, like the, I know writers who use subtext <laughs> and they're all cowards! They're all cowards. Oh god, that's a, that's such a great line. I should I should watch Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. I should like watch the rest of that show. I watched the first two episodes, and like the first one, I'm like, this is a literal perfect episode of comedy television. Then I watched the second one, and I'm like, I think I'm good. And there's yeah. only like six episodes. I think I've probably seen all of them at different times on uh, Adult Swim. Oh, ended but... up on Adult Swim. Yeah, I think that's where it aired in the U.S. That's Man, um, Adult Swim does cool stuff. Yeah, it, it was one of those ones that came on at like 3 a.m. Yeah, of course. And they have that, that amazingly horribly dubbed man in that show. <laughs> the the like black hospital owner guy or whatever. I vaguely remember that. It's been a few years. He just always sounds like this for some reason. And but... he's definitely not, like, speaking to his lip flaps. <laughs> like, everything about that first episode, from, like, stuff like that to, like, there's various sound editing that's just slightly off, it's like... so bad, yeah. There's, ba like, purposeful bad they, acting, there's bad cinematography. Two sets. <laughs> I do... I do enjoy that one line, though. The, the subtext one. Oh, yeah, like... The standout lines from that are, it's the subtext one, and the, I'm one of the few authors who's written more books than he's read. Oh I, yeah, because isn't it, isn't it, <laughs> it a series based on Garth Marenghi's, like, novels or something like that? Well, in fiction, yes, I think. Right. Yeah. Well, the plot line is that they're, like, making a show that's supposed to be, like, Star Trek-esque and very important, and it's all um, about how they, like, way overestimate, like, how important their show actually is. Because the the rest of the line, I, I know writers who use subtext, and they're all cowards. He then goes on to say, what I tried to say with this episode was, if we continue to pay doctors peanuts, would they literally turn into monkeys? As opposed to oh, figuratively right. turn into monkey monkeys. Episode? I love yeah. that episode. <laughs> There's this one point in that episode where, like, Garth Marenghi has told, like, the guy who owns the hospital like six times that the apes are taking over or whatever <laughs> and like he just like either doesn't believe him or literally doesn't hear him <laughs> and like for some reason like oh why the fuck did i do that he's like sir the apes have taken over and then um the, the guy picks up the phone, then puts back down the phone and says, Oh my god, the apes are taking over! <laughs> <laughs> and then Garth Marenghi is just like, The apes, they've taken over. And then he's just like, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> Dumb as shit. That's probably like, the, like... That's probably the scene I remember most from that entire series. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Right, he picks up the phone pretend after after he is supposed <laughs> like, to have heard it on the yes. phone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Wait, does this thing get paralyzed? Uh, who can pr maybe who can say? Who can say? Us about a month ago, probably. Yeah. Oh. Somehow, I absolutely evaded through his roar, but then got hit by it because it was still a hitbox. <laughs> Tim, oh, I have an update. re paralyze it. Pa pa re There's a Pizarro's yeah. waiting. You know, honestly, like... I, I learned the word para paralysis through Pokemon. Like, didn't understand, like, how any of it worked until I was, like, in... Until I was a teenager. And also how definitely that's not what paralysis is like in any way. Well, not like the medical condition, but... <laughs> I, I suppose it is closer akin to petrification, but... Yeah. There's always an electrical element about it. I don't... Uh, except for studs. I don't understand that. No, I just mean like between games and stuff like oh okay well, yeah. it's, it's because paralyzation is generally an interruption of electrical signals so it makes some amount of sense 
And um, electric shock can often paralyze you temporarily. Yeah. Like a like a taser. Never heard right, of it. Right, right, right. Good point. Uh, it, it's, oh, it's okay. a, like a, light, a lightning gun. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. We gotta keep those away from the cops. Uh, better those than actual guns. I'll, I'll give you that. Duncan, who are these women? <laughs> Can they hear me? Was that incredibly rude? <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're also obviously not. <laughs> are these your women? <laughs> No! No, no. It's getting worse. I don't know what to do. Thankfully. I don't have to call the police on me. <laughs> now, oh. you see, that sounds like the kind of thing that we need to call the police on. Yeah, you can't say you don't need to call the police on me and then expect us to not call the police on you. My not involved with human trafficking t-shirt has a <laughs> people asking a lot of questions already answered by my t-shirt. Is that a... That's a drill, right? I don't know if oh. it's drill, but it's a very good tweet. <laughs> it is a tweet. It's, it's a very drill tweet, but I don't know if it's a drill it tweet. It is. I feel like I've heard drill uh, pretty pretty consistently interchangeably referred to as at drill or wint. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beauty because of it. I, I think he has had wint as his name for his entire existence. I feel like Drill is kind or, of the or standard. Or hers or theirs. I don't know what is happening <laughs> at, at Drill. I, I feel like Drill is the, like, more common way to refer to this person, but it's they're pretty oh. much interchangeable, yeah. A, oh. mo a modern cryptid. So we, Chris and I had an interesting discovery the other day when, uh, on Twitter we were just discussing Monster Hunter stuff, and in our uh, message thread, uh, we were we were saying like, Capcom. Uh, oh right, like this Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Portable Fourth when, and Chris put at Capcom. Yeah, and, like, linked because at Capcom, and we clicked on it, and at Capcom is some dude <laughs> with with like twelve followers or something from two thousand eight. And so we were like, wow, Capcom didn't even bother to, like, buy this guy out of his account or something to get yeah. at Capcom. And then I said, like, yeah, I guess Capcom USA just, like, they, they couldn't get it when it first came out or whatever. And then we clicked on Capcom USA. <laughs> and it's another <laughs> fucking random person <laughs> with, like, six followers. Wow. Well. Official Capcom USA account, and it's Capcom USA underscore. <laughs> <laughs> like, just drop the ball so hard. Also, also an important thing to note, Capcom USA underscore, the official Capcom English account, joined in 2008... Before Capcom USA without the underscore in 2011. Yes. It, we, basically, the best I could muster was that someone had the account Capcom USA when Capcom USA tried to register. So they had to do the underscore. Then that person deleted their account. And then someone came in and was like, why is Capcom USA open? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that has to be it. Because <laughs> flat Capcom had them all beat by like three years. Yeah. So, so bad. <laughs> uh, pretty ridiculous. Oh, right. Duncan's here. What? Ouch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you just, you, you, mostly you just hadn't talked in a while was the thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Where... You'd be apathetic if you weren't so lethargic. Where is Ukonlos material? What did you say? My planes do the talking for me. Yeah. <laughs> when they, when they bomb Indianapolis. Yeah, that was really annoying. Oh, I got I got a Jev at some point. Oh. All right. I may have carved it in the first hunt oh, okay. and not noticed. Whatever. Uh, Tim. What? 
Oh, no, huh? I, I had one, and I need a second one, so it turns out I do need to keep doing that because I still haven't gotten the 10% drop. I see. Uh, yeah, you should check up what we need to break. I mean, I think we're consistently breaking most things, but just to make sure. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was just a 10% quest reward. Okay. I'll, I'll double check as we speak. You should check if you can make the entire, uh, I bet you can, honestly, the entire Gold Rathian, uh, what is it? Gold Rathian GX set, which gives you fate. I, I, think, I, I which... don't think I have fought enough Gold Rathians for that. Well, I don't know. You guys fought a ton for me. Did we? I only vaguely remember oh, yeah. that. We've played this game a lot. Uh, yeah, reward yeah. one 10% drop for this quest. Okay. And that's it? Yeah. Well, how is that it? There's no carve chance or cap. Well, you can't cap, but uh, monster. So, yeah. wait one second. Let me check something. Oh god damn it! Are were you doing the wrong thing? Chris? No, because the quest name is absolutely. Chris, are we doing the wrong thing? No, because when... let me let me parse this out because there's a weird thing going on here for sure. All right, all right. The quest that we have been doing is called The White God Returns, and it is like an eight-star quest. Oh. And so the quest the, the quest on uh, Karanico is called Hub One Star DLC The White God Returns. Uh, huh. So this is one of those weird high rank plus quests that we've been doing. Like maybe it's G rank damage, but high rank um, health or something. No, that wouldn't surprise me. I took a blast from its uh, laser, and it almost took out my entire health bar. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, yeah because I the G rank, shot, so. the G rank event Ukamlos is called Ukamlos made global cooling, which. What are you What are you trying to say about global warming, there, Capcom? Whatever, we're moving on. made global cooling. We don't, Tim. Tim, we will have plenty of time. We will have plenty of time tomorrow to talk about global warming. I promise you. That's not relevant yeah, right now. Wait, what's happening tomorrow? Oh, uh, we're going to see a movie. Yeah. What movie? Weathering with you. What, what, so what, what's that movie about? It's about planes no. in Hawaii. Good. I was and gonna try and make. I was gonna try and make a joke about going to see that Al Gore documentary, and I could not remember the fucking name. So that. Uh, no. Uh. uh and, and, and yes, some, Jordan got it. What truth? An inconvenient, inconvenient truth. truth. Yeah, that's what it is. So what did we decide on this quest? I don't even. This is the quest I was supposed to be doing. Okay. I don't even think weathering? I have this quest. Uh, weathering with you. It's by the guy who made uh, thirty or er, yeah, thirty centimeters. But, no, not thirty. Oh, five yeah. centimeters per second. I don't know That's why weird. I was so hung up on the number thirty there. Uh, <laughs> and, and Garden of Words, the one where he's has a food fetish and a foot fetish, maybe. Uh, and uh, also no, Kimi no. no Nawa. Oh yeah, so it's one of your weird pervert movies. Okay. This one is the least pervert of the one... Well, no, 570 meters per second is like 0% pervert. Yeah, and wasn't the, the last one having like switch bodies with his sister or something? No, Not, not his, sister, his sister, with a dead right. girl. Oh. It's fine, she's Whoa, dead. Okay, spoiler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like... Uh, that, spoiler you could have given. That's like the end of the first act. I mean, I haven't seen the movie yet, so... I mean, we're well out of spoiler territory. Alright, that's less pervert than I thought it was. Uh, we were specifically talking about the one that came out no. two years ago there. I know. No, okay. None of Shinkai's stuff is perverted. What are you guys talking about? I know. I'm about? messing around okay. with you, Yeah, I'm making a... It's I mean, a Tim, we do bits oh. here. <laughs> okay, no, I was more confused about Chris, because I know Jordan doesn't know what he's talking about, but Chris, like... I don't know what I'm talking about. I <laughs> saw an opportunity to confuse. To I saw an opportunity to confuse, and I went with it. Tim, I clearly demonstrated that I know exactly what it's about by telling you the plot verbatim. He switches body with his sister and does weird shit. 
so depending on if this counts as high rank or G rank, uh, high rank we get uh, an extra 6% uh, break chance if we wound the chest, 4% for head, and 2% body carve. Okay. I'm sure we've been breaking the head. Like, but Tim, There's... there are some, there are like, aren't there close-ups on the adult woman's foot in Garden of Words? My apologies to anyone on Duncan's side who can hear this. There's, I mean, he he makes shoes for a living, so yes. Oh, right, 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 I, right, 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 right. I would say, I would say it's probably a little, like, in fiction, it seems like he probably has a thing for feet. I mean, because he <laughs> literally, it's his, what he's the most interested in is making shoes, but. Right, I, right. There's, and there's definitely some like sensual moments and stuff, but I don't okay, know. my bit my bit maintains. Yeah, yeah. cobbling is the number one profession for foot fetishes. I'm I mean Oops. I can't think of what else would be number one. A podiatrist. What did you... <laughs> okay, so but podiatry yeah. and cobbling. <laughs> <laughs> the two feet jobs. Yep. That, do you want to rephrase that, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I will never rephrase anything. I guess you can make an argument for uh, a foot massager specifically, but I don't know if there's anyone to foot massager specifically. I don't know if there's much of a market for that. I feel like as far as fetishes go, foot fetishes are probably like one of the lesser, like, obscure, obscene fetishes. It, it's yeah. like one of the most common ones, and I don't fucking get it at all. I mean, I don't yeah. really get it either. Feet are, feet are, are fucking weird. disgusting. They're kind of Feet gross. Are... Pretty much, everyone's foot looks very different, and none of them look good. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been like, now that's a foot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, uh, you sorry. can't see, You're good. but I am enjoying just how many people in my house are hearing everything we're talking no! about. No! Right <laughs> that's what I was concerned about! I don't oh, care. Yeah, Duncan, another thing you were very uh, disparaging to me about was my feet. Like, <laughs> remember that? <laughs> you do have <laughs> fucked up feet, Tim. Yeah, my fault. have terrifying hand feet. All right. <laughs> it's not my fault that I was born with literally uh, Franz Liszt's hands as my feet. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, that one was. <laughs> I'm not gonna be quiet about that. Tim, that one was for me and I appreciate it. Tim, it's better than having a bunch of, like, fucking rectangles attached to your feet. Fucking prehensile-ass <laughs> I mean, toes. I mean, there are... There are weird feet on, like, the stubby end, too, for sure. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I feel... I don't know how to feel that there are just people in Duncan's house listening to this just uh, presumably uh, aghast. I, I mean, I, I'll probably never meet them. <laughs> <laughs> I've never go to fucking Hawaii. Um, I'm just kidding. You guys will probably meet at least one. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Uh. Oh, uh, do tell. Uh -huh. No, what what what, do you, what what are you saying? What are you saying? Oh, what is the implication? No, here? No. Because of the okay. implication. That's that's what the implication was to me. You'll have to tell us more about this person, presumably when they're not listening right next to you. <laughs> no. Keep talking. You've put us in a... <laughs> Duncan, by saying all of this, you know that means we can never meet. <laughs> you have to stay in Hawaii forever. It is now your prison. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> All right, that's <sounds> good. <laughs> well, I was just mentioning to them that a lot of people were hearing things they were saying that did not know them and have never seen them. <laughs> and they were like, that is bad because we're saying stupid things. You know, we did not think like, yeah, that time. I was like, like, except for one, you probably will. Seeing you, of course. But we, we also... Potentially, if there's, if I ever, in my life, own money, then I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, money. 
There's there's no guarantee that this will ever be a thing. You consciously decided to become a composer. <laughs> you you do understand that people in Hawaii are capable of going other places. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? That's I thought uh, you were all locked on the island. There was like a black would, hole. I thought we determined that that's a, that's illegal. I well, thought only. Apparently. <laughs> I have only heard planes that sound like they're coming in. I've never heard planes go out. <laughs> well, that's well, the land I know. You can really oh, tell the difference over Discord. Oh, oh, aeronautical. I have very good ears, Tim. How dare you? I saw I didn't catch anything that Duncan just said, but there's definitely some left. They, uh, they bombed Indy. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Well, planes leave the bomb. So that's true. Pearl, Pearl Harbor is right there. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna get it now, and I got a Condos gem. Suck it, Chris. God damn it! Um, I still haven't. I have not even paid attention. It's a ten percent chance. That. I've done it three times. Well, so statistically, you shouldn't get it yet. Then I'll go year four. Oh, shit. Thank you for making.